believe it or not, we're actually up in a tree house right now. There's two uh, fires up here yeah. in the tree house that is made of wood. And right here, they're making this splendid meal. So right now, she's taking this leaf. Do you know what tree this is from? This is Ratan. Ratan. Digging in to the sack where they have some more yeah. of this uh, very silty, almost like really fine sand. And it has a very like minerally earthy taste to it. So she lays a, a big layer of that. So then she puts in these fish right here. What kind of fish are these? It's a, it's a catfish. So these are just from the river here? Yes. And are they going to eat the brown part yes. too? Yes. They eat it. Okay. Brown part, the fish, and then you're going to roll it up. Yeah, mama. Yeah. So it's just a way to keep to cook these fish inside. Yeah. So she's gonna wrap the leaf around it. It's that easy. She really tightly fastens this bundle, the fish bundle, and then I think she's gonna put that on the fire next. So we're coming back to the sago kind of cake, pizza, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Everything mixed together. Yeah. Sago, sago worms, and then the the fern. And are they gonna roll it up now? Yeah, mama lipa today. Look at that. And that is huge. That can feed a lot of people, right? Yeah, this is for feeding for family, whole family. Whole family. So <laughs> you can you can see the Dani and then Koroa is totally different. This is what I talked to you about. She's going to put the yeah. rocks inside. Yeah. They're going to put all these super hot rocks on here. And now they're going to bundle all these leaves. It's like its own self-contained oven. Oh, and then they've got this kind of twine, some kind of a stick yeah. that they're using to tie yeah, it off. String. All of this is just stuff they caught and collected from right around here. It's like a Christmas present. The whole thing is just steaming now. It's heating up the leaves. Oh, look at this. Quick. This is crazy. Look at all the moisture coming out of this thing. You see? And then, they finally, you see? They sit it on the on the top. Oh, wow. And how long is that going to be on the fire? Uh, almost 45 to 35 minutes. Also, she just handed me this. Are they cooking more? No, no, no. This is a sago one. Did they put this directly on the fire? Definitely. That's the way, another way how to, they want to eat fast. Yeah, this is the fast way of doing it. Should I eat it now? Yeah, you can try. Does anybody else have one? I want to eat with somebody else. Yes. Cheers. Hey, do you want half? Exactly. Does he want half? I can break off half. No, bagi baru makan atau biar. No. Or we could do it like Lady and the Tramp. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna eat it. Here we go. The sago worm in the tree of the Karwai people. Definitely. Try it out. Smoky. It's milky. Smoky. It kind of tastes like like uh, uh, like grilled chicken. That one tastes like grilled chicken. I think because it's like singed. It's a little like charcoal flavor. How do I say like? How do I say tasty? Daju. Daju. Very nice. You like that? Daju. Daju. Daju guy. What? There's another one over here. Are you, oh, there's a bunch of them down here. The kid grabbed one. Coming up next, you thought that was it, but what about the beetles from today? They're right here. Some of them are still crawling. I thought I broke their necks appropriately, but some of them are still crawling around here. These are the beetles, and, and are they going to put these in a green oven too, or are they just going to throw them in the fire? No, on the fire. Over here, he's making yet another kind. He's got the pika from the sago, and then he's busting open the worms themselves, breaking them open, so there's some kind of worm guts hanging in there. Looks good. And then yet another treat right here. Hey. So here we have more of the pika. And then some kind of leaf. Can I taste the kind of leaf this is? Kanika. 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 Mm, it tastes fresh, a little bit of citrus, and just like grassy. Are you going to? Oh, hold on. I can help. Look, your greens look good, but I think you need some of these. Oh my god. <laughs> It sounds like they're murdering a pig now. They're not. Now they're putting the beetles, all the sago beetles that we cut, they're just putting them directly into the fire. And um, they're still moving around a little bit. These are just going to grill for a bit. Oh, wow, thank you. I've got so many bugs in my hands. This one I definitely have to eat with somebody. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, I'm going to have one more. Stop, stop up. One, two, three. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Guys, I promise they're not murdering a pig in the other room. I think it's just hungry or lonely. This is the most insane shoot we've ever done. It tastes exactly like soot. It just tastes like soot from the fire. I mean, it's on there. It's like a little bitter, a little crunchy. Tajuka. Tajuka? Tajuka. It's so awkward that they, they scheduled our dinner time and the pig torturing time at like the exact same hour. Right now they're waterboarding a pig. 
to get some answers. Oh no, they've got electric <laughs> mineral <laughs> clamps on the pig. <laughs> Who is this weird man in my treehouse? Is that what you're wondering? <laughs> okay, bye, talk to you later. Wow, well, I just had about 59 new experiences all in a row. Uh, did you guys see that? We ate a bunch of bugs, and then there was a beetle. I saw a, a fish, we are in a tree house. There's a kid that just walked by. There's another kid holding a baby near the ledge. Um, everything's happening at once. So right now, the last thing we're waiting for is this giant sago cake full of sago, full of worms, everything uh, that you could ever ask for. Everything we desire is right in here, and I can't wait for that to cook up. Boom, okay, so he's just removed some of the catfish. Da. Da. Taka. Taka. Pita. Pita. I don't know what they're making these say, but I hope it's something funny. Or I hope it's the name of the food and one of those two. Okay, so here, it looks like the catfish, right? Yeah. Fish, fish. Pita. Yeah, okay, good, I speak sign language. All right, I want to try this out. Huh? Oh. Oh no. That's another worm. I thought that was fish. So um, I'm pretty, I'm good on worms. That is very unique. He's liking it. The way he's cooked it, you can see he's breaking it apart now. The pika, it just becomes like a jelly. Do you want some? Indifferent. Indifferent, not interested. <laughs> you had this one already? You're bored of this, huh? The texture of this pika is completely different. It was kind of powdery before. It's like meaty now. It looks like a big steak, and but sticky too. So I'm gonna try out the pika part here. Can I give this one to you? Oh, okay. I had a big lunch. Here you go. <laughs> I'm gonna try this sago pika part. Wow. Real like earthy mineral taste to it. But the texture is like, it's almost like mochi or something. Mochi like you would have in Japan, made from uh, beaten rice. But this is, um, it tastes like I'm eating sand. Wow. This is a catfish. But I feel bad because like you grilled it. Are you sure you don't want to eat it? Catfish. I mean, ping bang. Thank you. Kotre. 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 I'm not very good. A whole catfish. All, all, all. Eat all. all. Ah, it's like a fish stick. Like, Kanye West would really like this. Kind of like a wild fish stick flavor. From the, from the river directly, not from mm. uh, something from... Wow, that's really good. Really fresh. And then you just chew right through the bones. Or they, maybe they shouldn't do that. I don't know. I don't want to advise on parenting. Just be careful. Just be careful. That's all. Cut. This. All right, boom. And. Our oven is finished cooking. We're all gonna join together, and I don't know which way we're bringing it. I'll get right there. So we've taken it off, but we still, there's, we've taken it off, but there's still rocks inside that we have to take out. Big reveal, we're opening it up. All the rocks are here. All the leaves around the rocks are kind of crispy already. And then right here, under the leaves, it should reveal this big wormy cake. And Mac was saying they kind of cook everything this way, whether they've got some pork or some tree kangaroo. Wow, look at that. It's like a reddish orange. It does, it looks kind of like a pizza. And it's really like cooked down. And then you just grab it. She's grabbing it. Tajuka. Hey. Tajuka. He's got his bamboo knife. It's like that gummy kind of glutinous rice texture. I've never seen it. I've never seen anything like this. Some fern leaves, some sago worm, all of it in there together. And everybody's getting a piece, they're handing it around. So inside, oh, big sago reveal. That fern that we saw in the jungle earlier has kind of cooked down. It's kind of a, a mush. It looks like some uh, collard greens except from the rainforest. A little chunk of worm. So, I don't know, everyone just kind of rips it up and eats pieces, I'm gonna try it. Cheers, everybody. Mm. I hate that pig so much. This is so good. This is so weird. It's become this really gummy, chewy texture. The greens, the ferns have broke down, they're soft now. Earthy and grassy. It tastes like the jungle. It's so cool to see something this new, this different. They're very different life just through their food. I mean, just through this dish, it illustrates how completely different. 
<laughs> There's so much chaos going on. <laughs> Just through this dish, it illustrates how different the lifestyle is here. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. Good job, everybody. Tajukan. 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 Tajuk